we wanted to let you guys know to make sure to make it out to the Wisconsin Fishing Expo this coming weekend. Yep. And that's going to be, we got to get these dates right now. <laughs> that's going to be February 28th, Friday, 29th, Saturday, and March 1st, Sunday. Yep, kind of confusing, but that, that, those are the dates. <laughs> For those of you who have not been to the Wisconsin Fishing Expo, they run about 20, 25,000 people through this mm -hmm. show. It's Bunch a, of booths. Yeah, Crazy. <laughs> it's huge. I think they got well over 300 booths there. Um, it's the largest show in Wisconsin, and they got some uh, six speaker lineup for this year. The Zona is going to yep, be there. Mark Zona, Ish Monroe, I mean. Pete Mayna, Steve Mayna, Hiding, nice. Rob Manthai. So they got uh, some musky guys in there, so that's good. But at any rate, uh, yeah, it's a great show. You guys should come out. Bring your kids. Yeah, There's definitely. Tons bring your kids. of activities for the trout kids. Trout pond, trout pond. It doesn't get much better than catching trout indoors in the warmth. For sure. Of a building. <laughs> Not only that, they've got minnow races, Robbie. Yeah, wow. Uh, it, it, it is a fun event, definitely. It's the biggest show on earth. So if you would like to check out more information on the expo, just go down to the description below here and we got a link in there for you for all that. Yep, check it out. But uh, at the moment, uh, let's get back to the video. Welcome back folks to another Today's Angler Musky Tip video. Uh, we're gonna show you today what I believe is the number one musky rod hack out there, in my opinion anyway. Um, let's just say we are on Lake St. Clair and we're gonna head to the next spot and there happens to be three foot waves out on the lake or whatever body of water you're on. At any rate, um, most musky rods out there have one of these. They have a hook tied into the rod guide, into the rod just like that. And that's where most people hook their musky baits. Okay, so Let's just say we hooked our bait there and we got the rods in a pile and then it's really rough out, like I said. And then your rods are bouncing across as you go across the lake, like so. Okay, what is gonna happen here? This sharpened hook, you better have a sharpened hook by the way, is gonna be bouncing and rubbing against your braided line just like so and that you're just absolutely asking for asking for trouble there what that'll do is actually cut your line i've seen it many many times in the boat you'll get to another spot after a long run a guy will make a cast and his lure goes sailing why that is exactly why that will actually like i said cut your line fray your line and it's just a matter of time before you're gonna have a heartbreak. So, how do we fix that? Well, this happens to be the Chaos Assault Sticks that now actually come with a hole drilled in the trigger, okay? So that's on the newer models of Assault Sticks. Uh, well, you might not have an Assault Stick. Uh, you might have one of the older ones. So I'm gonna show you now how to put this hole in your trigger properly. All right, so most importantly, we need to make a large enough hole, of course, that a seven or even eight dot treble hook will fit through there. Uh, I just happen to know what size bit I use that will actually clear a seven or eight dot uh, uh, mustad or a chaos hook. The chaos hooks have a little smaller barb, but like the mustad that we put on the front of this Husky Medusa, that is an eight dot that's got a giant barb, okay? So, but here's the thing, you're gonna wanna use two different drill bits uh, because you have to drill a pilot hole um, first. That way, um, it's a lot easier, trust me, it's a lot easier to get the, the right location with the smaller bit and then route out the rest of the hole with the larger bit. Uh, these two bits happen to be a 3 32nd for your pilot bit and this happens to be a 5 32nd for your uh, uh, larger hole. So we have here one of the older Chaos rods. It happens to be brand new, but we're gonna drill a hole in this one here. Um, very important, the most important part of doing this process is make sure that your hole is down far enough on the trigger that it's not gonna snap the trigger off. Let's go back and look again 
at this one that I have actually drilled in the past. See how far down that is on the trigger? Uh, basically it's two-thirds of the way down at least. All right, so very important there. All right, so we'll take our rod here. We'll take our drill bit here. Boom, we'll put the smaller one on for the pilot hole. And that, like I said, is the 332nd bit. Okay, so one thing you're gonna wanna look for, there's actually a seam, because this is a molded graphite part. Make sure that this drill bit ends up right on that seam, right in the middle there, okay? So just kinda, just start it a few times just to kind of get the hole started. All right, it looks like it's in the center there. We're gonna punch it through. There we go, we're through. All right. So you can see there about the location of it. That's actually quite far down. Uh, it's gonna make it a, even a little more challenging to get the larger hole. Um, so when it comes out the other end, it's going to want to dig into this section here. But I'll show you how to not let that happen. Okay, we've got our 5 32nd bit in place. And we'll just butt it up against that hole. And you're going to want to try to keep the angle as close to the rod cork, the handle on the back side there as you can. You don't want it angled up like this. So lay it down nice and flat. Just kind of start it. Whoop, and just barely go through. All right, now look on the other side here. You'll see that I'm barely through there. What I was trying to avoid is that drill bit digging into that past area right through there. And we were able to accomplish that. So there we go. Now we've got a perfect hole drilled right through the trigger like that. And just to test it, good idea. We can grab this other ADOT hook here. Let me pop the bait off the rod. All right, so this is probably about the largest hook anyone would use is an ADOT. We'll slide that through, perfect. Now here's the hard part, getting it back out. There we go, pops right out. So now we know we have the right size hole drilled in that trigger. And uh, more importantly, when you're bouncing across the lake, you can hook your bait up under your trigger hole, like so. As you can see, this is a much better system for hanging your lure on the trigger, like so. And the Assault Sticks by Chaos, they actually have that already drilled in them now on the newer models. If you don't have a Chaos Rod, no problem. Get your drill, get your two drill bits, and uh, start drilling away. You're all dialed in to bounce across some lumpy lake. Anyhow, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, head on over to the playlist. We've got an actual playlist where you can click through and look at a bunch of instructional videos uh, such as this. We'll see you on the next one.